Hello everyone, it's Danny here from GameFrom.com. Today, I am parachuting out of a plane in a jeep. Let's go! It's not a jeep, it's a bronco. Sorry. I got that wrong, but I, you know, drop it like it's hot. Today we're playing Forza Horizon 5. It's the fifth Forza Horizon in the Forza Horizon series. I love Forza Horizon. It's pretty cool. And, you know, already this feels like uh, it's going to be very similar to the previous ones. But with extra shinies. Also, Mexico. Because it's a bit more exotic than, than Scotland. Or and Australia was cool in 3. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty. And so much uh, different uh, tundra to explore, you know. Where else can you get snow and sand and crazy tornadoes? Yeah, I'm liking it so far, and I've only just dropped out of the plane. So, generally at the start of these games, you go through a, a nice action set piece like this, which kind of just tutorializes you into the game a little bit. It's just occurred to me that I'm going to have to uh, potentially turn all this music off for the purposes of copyright. Do we have a streamer mode? Mm. Streamer mode. Thank you very much. A bit of traffic ahead. Well, watch out for that. That just got boring very quickly. Oh, maybe we get some generic stock music. Some drumsticks in the background to keep the tempo going. Lovely. Making new friends, eh? I'll do the intro again, just in case that bit gets copyright struck. It's Danny here from GameFriend.com, and today we're falling out of a plane in a Lamborghini. While listening to some generic stock music by my band Zack and the Zackheads. Well, I put I put streamer mode on, so hopefully this means this music is okay. If it's not, then you know I tried. Either it goes off the air, or you know I give all my money off to uh, Sony Records or whatever. It's all good. I don't feel like I can drift as well as I could in the other games. First things first. I'll be honest with any any racing game like this. I am not a five-year-old child. And I don't need... don't need the racing line all the time. I don't need the racing line at all, really. Where's racing line? Driving line. Thank you very much. I'll leave the... Uh, is there braking assist on as well? Why is braking... Uh, Anti-lock's fine. That's fine. The games that put, like, full-on braking assist on by default need... Honestly, what a ridiculous thing. Why play the game if braking assist is going to be on by default? Like, yeah, put it on for your five-year-old child who doesn't understand how corners work. But, honestly... Imagine having things like a racing line and braking assist back in my day, playing... Soccer touring cars on the PlayStation. Colin McRae Rally 1. Anyway, this is pretty. Look at this. Oh, those are some volumetric clouds. Dust storms. Wow. This is cool. I can't see where I'm going. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nice. Saved by the cutscene there. Are we going to drop out of a plane again? It's like Fortnite, this. 
Okay, Where are we dropping, boys? Five, four, four. No, that's fine. Oh no! Don't land on the flamingos. Uh, whatever you do. I am loving the variety in scenery on this one. As much as I loved four, you know, England is a bit samey, if we're honest. Apart from Edinburgh, the rest of it was just, oh, it's a nice country village. With some grass and some sheep grazing. Yeah, those are indeed flamingos. It's like going on safari, this. Also, imagine driving a, you know, what is this, a Cayman? Heavily modified. With some uh, extra fan cooling in the window there. This song sounds familiar. I like it. It's got that 90s vibe. I am just mesmerized by the scenery on this one. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Wow, this thing slides when you're driving on wet mud. Bye bye. Whoops, a daisy. One of these set pieces. That looked like a rough land. Oh, I'm going down the river. No, I'm not going down the river. Oh, I'm going down the river. It's all good. Got away with it. I don't think anyone noticed. The Oh, it's a 1989 Porsche 65 Roth Sport Racing 911. Desert Flyer. Low streaming bandwidth. The game has detected streaming delays. This might be caused by limited disk bandwidth or limited CPU resources. Wow. You are... Th th wow. A 3900X. I did put it on my hard drive. I should have put it on the SSD. Never mind. I might move it. I'm, you know, I've got a one terabyte SSD. And I've got about 300 gigs free. But I think video games are getting to the point where, I, you know, I need to fill that second NVMe slot. Either that or just buy a bigger NVMe drive. Or buy two bigger NVMe drives. I'm turning into James Heaney. I'm going to install Windows 11 on all of them. This is the final drop. And, uh, the yeah, everything ready. will be cup of static. Go, go, go! Wow, here we go. You get that McLaren Mercedes, you get it on the back of that plane. Oh no, I thought we were going onto the plane. Never mind. Hello Mexico, I'm Danny. Oh, everyone else can go that way, but not me apparently, whatever. Well, cheers for the update, Mexico. I appreciate that. So, uh, I will be there tout de suite, as they say in France. I tell you what, I, this, I'm not going to get bored of the scenery in this. Why are you, why are you interrupting me, man? I'm doing my bit to camera. You and me are going to fall out of Mexico if you keep interrupting me. Rude guy, man. Rude guy. Anyway. Anyway. 
This is nice. So strap yourselves in, Horizon. I've seen this driver before, and trust me, they know how to make an entrance. Are you done, Mexico? Can I speak now? Wow. You do not have permission to fly that low. Look how close you were to that stanchion. I will be honest, yeah. I'm not an expert. Our number one superstar to Horizon Mexico. Oh, so the festival's named after you. Okay. Well, maybe maybe Mexico founded the whole thing. Anyway, I'll be honest, yeah. I, you know, you were getting a too long terrain warning on that plane. And uh, it's it's frankly one of those situations where, you know, safety first is clearly not a consideration. Right, let's build an avatar. If it, is it going to be like Forza Horizon 4 where I effectively can't be bald? So the person I have to pick basically has to look nothing like me. Like, look at this guy. It's, you know, he's Tori Pelecci from Mythbusters there. He's clearly, you know, a little bit high on, on coke. Um, who else have we got? Uh... Uh, I don't think you look like a celebrity that I'm aware of because, you know, I'm clearly not down with the kids. You know, in fact, I can't really, uh, I can't pass comment on a lot of these characters, really. I mean, they don't look like anybody. I mean, I don't know. Like, the chin is, is a, and, and the lip, the pouncing lips, it's a phenomenal thing. Um, are these just... Are these randomly generated model characters or are these literally just the presets you've given us and they're all just insane i mean they're not all insane you know like she she looks uh perfectly respectable but like this dude what happened there did your face get caught in a blender i don't know what i'm on about um anymore uh, let's just pick generic white bro dude Oh, I can pick a. I bet I can't be bold. Can I be bold? I can be bold! Thank you, Forza Horizon. It's only taken you five games to get there, but I can finally be bold. And I can be bold. I can be bold and purple for some reason. Um, I can have a prosthetic limb for. Well, I mean, nothing wrong with that. It's, it's just unexpected. Um, I can choose between two voices, which I am guessing is... Uh, can I not do facial hair, for one? Do I have to pick a character with facial hair? None of them have facial hair. Apart from maybe apart from maybe Tori Balecci, who's got like a bit of stubble on the go. It's... It's... I don't understand. I can I can hey, pick a prosthetic limb, limb, but I can't on, pick facial hair. And that's not a criticism of being able to pick a prosthetic limb. That's great, but why can't I have a beard? Anyway, that'll do. Enough of that. Enough time spent on that character creation screen. Which it's improved from four, I'll give it that. But more work to be done, me fancies. Give it up for Danny. Hey, you know my name. Thank you, Mexico. I always forgive him, bro. You, you remember me. What we're driving now? I don't. I'm not. I'm not the biggest expert on cars. You know, I'll, I'll watch Top Gear <laughs> and all the Grand Tour. But uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not an expert. But you know, I like these uh, kind of games. I have so much to show you. Cerros, desiertos, la jungla, pirámides. How did they land the plane there? Mexico. Your pronunciation was muy bien, by the way. Because the plane was in the sky and the, the, the festival had already been set up. No problem. You can't just land it there. I believe this is Without yours. killing everybody. How was your flight? Not bad. Exit procedure was a bit rough. Yeah, I bet. Come on. He's even got a British accent. That's pretty cool. Although they are a British studio. 
coordinate festival logistics, which just leaves... She's British as well. I mean, you know, Forza Horizon 3 was like that. It's set in Australia, but everyone was British. It was a weird thing, but there you go. Not everybody. But. Alejandro, right? If the rumours about what you can do with an engine are true... What is wrong with his mouth? Oh, I don't understand. Of, we get that delivery? Arrived this morning. It's like... Yes. Mira, que chulada. This is quite a collection. Is this the, I like her jacket. That's I'll pretty cool. Right, I, yeah, do I get uh, to pick my first car? First. What are we picking? I wasn't keen on the Bronco. Corvette Stingray Coupe. A Ford Bronco. And the Toyota GR Super. Oh, I don't like the Toyota Japanese car... You know, it'll be fast and drifty. And I'm not big on drifting. I think I'll go with a Chevrolet Corvette. Wrong with a Corvette. Believe it or not, I'm picking an American car. I know. It's gotta be the Corvette. It's gotta be the Corvette. Great. How about a personalized number plate? Why not? Let's call it G. A. Can you see where this is going? Can you see where this is going? Ugh. Um. E. F. Oh, there's not enough letters. I'll just put F. Oh, this is riveting content. Ah, and and then finally, oh, can I pull that? Yeah, give me a T. Give me a T for Tango. Yeah. I'll get the rest of your cars to the garage. Gives me a little more time with them. Game front. Everyone knows game front. Hey, Danny. It's hey. All about making an entrance. Thank I you. know you've just arrived, but our first showcase is ready to roll. We just oh, really? need our superstar. Well, Take I'm on my in. way. Oh, I, am I like the showcase. So a showcase in Forza Horizon games is effectively a bit like the thing we just did. Where you, um... God, Mexico, why are you interrupting me again, dude? Dude, you need to calm down. Wow. Thanks, Mexico. Right, yeah, so a showcase is a bit, you know, it's like full of set pieces. You generally race against some kind of ridiculous vehicle like a plane or like there was a Halo one in four. You, there was one in four where you raced against the Flying Scotsman. That was pretty cool. I th I'm going to guess we we're going to like do some big show PC race against the plane here, but uh, yeah, there, there we go. Trying to figure out what kind of plane it is. It looks a bit like a like a McDonald Douglas something or another. Or I guess I don't know. What's that American dropship? Dropship plane. The popular one that's no longer in service, I guess, or won't be for very long. I don't even know anymore. Anyway, we're racing a plane of some I'm description. I'm not completely sure what your next showcase opponent is planning. Said he had a few surprises in the hold of that cargo plane. How are we supposed to like go behind it? Well, it's not a jet plane, it's I guess. Tyler, but broadcasting to you live from a plane. This time we are throwing everything we have got at this superstar. But good. Mexico is on board the plane. Uh, pilot, there's a jumble on the runway. Jumble on the runway. Yeah, so this is a showcase. It's just very set PC. Well, they're quite fun, you know. I, I want to kind of I want to get into the actual races, really. Um, what we will do as the, as the game commands, I guess. 
so far this feels very very much the standard affair for Forza Horizon games if you've played three if you've played four you know what you're getting it's the same formula it's the same engine with some visual upgrades it looks quite nice I missed that checkpoint I tried to skirt that checkpoint and I didn't do a good job that's better okay yeah so it's it's more of the same so far but I will give the I'll give, there's one there's nothing wrong with that because Horizon 3 and 4 were fantastic games and still are fantastic games um but the setting of Mexico already is just like yes please I think I want to take my next holiday in Mexico because my lordy lord this is some pretty pretty landscape right here Wow! I thought they were just people committing suicide, but thankfully they were just a couple of dudes on motocross. I don't remember ever seeing bikes in... Wow, I nearly took you off your bike, dude. I don't remember seeing bikes in 4 or 3. These are some tight corners. How did that like what did the plane do that that's scary like guys this is not safe it's not cool to be flying a plane like that in a built-up area like it's this is not normal Actually, turn streamer mode on. Is this all generic music? It is on. Stream mode enables the in game live streaming of music. Enables. What? Uh, I, hope it, I hope this doesn't get a copyright for like. I mean. It's not good music, so I'm hoping it's generic enough that it's all been cleared up, but... What? Alrighty then. Final straight and this kid is not stopping. This that's bananas, what? Well the pa the parachute slowed you down at the end there, my friend. You know, you can't just get right up to the finish line and deploy your parachute like that and expect to win because frankly. I'm coming for you. I'm in a car. I don't need to slow down like a like I've just hit a brick wall at the end. That was fun. <coughs> a little bit odd, but that was fun. That was incredible. As a thank you from Horizon, you can keep the car. Thank you. A 1994 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Very nice. I have discovered a mere 31 of, of, what was that, 570 odd roads? There's a lot of Mexico to uncover, folks. The whole festival is talking about you. If you can meet me down at the festival, we'll talk about what you want to do next. I'm on my way if I can avoid traffic driving on the wrong side of the road. Skill point here to unlock perks. Every car has its own set. 
offering unique bonuses. Skill points can be spent on any car you own. Thank you. Right. Other DJ who just popped in was way louder than the other DJs, and that caught me by surprise. And then I got interrupted by a computer lady who's telling me about skill points, which I am already aware of. I can't afford the perk. A motorcycle inside of a cargo plane, right, Horizon? Just making sure I got it right for this tech. Is this dude that we're racing against Gen Tone 7? I'm coming for you, Gen 1, Gen 1, Gen 107. Steve, 2280k! Slammed into the back of him. I'm on the grass. Watch out for the cacti. Ugh. There's a lot more players around. So it seems like they've upped the number of players in the session, which is fine. Makes it feel a bit more alive with people, I guess. talented driver care to take a look sure My why not Carmen is looking to photograph some storms in the area and she's asked for a driver with strong off-road skills that sounds and exciting Alejandra has requested a driver to help her search for a long lost bocho with a bit of time before the next big event who should we contact first you sure we can make the schedule work i can come back for the other one later yeah i wouldn't be much good at my job otherwise would i cool there's some exposition at the end there that wasn't needed so do we go storm chasing or do we go Volkswagen chasing? That fault show is very old school. It reminds me of 1950s Paddy. Or Berlin, maybe, rather than Paddy. But uh, uh, let's go storm chasing. I've wanted to see the storms in this game for a while. And um, I'm quite ex There's people bopping around everywhere. This is madness. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm i quite excited to see the weather systems in this. Have you ever chased after a Mexican dust storm before? No, but I get the feeling I'm about to. You took the words right, right out of my mouth, uh, me, in the game. This is the loading screen. This is the loading screen. This is the screen where oh, we load things on the, the loading everyone screen. Talks about. Haley's asked for pictures of all the cars at the festival. It's called Horizon Promo. And obviously, we want action shots, fast ones. I can do fast. Let's go. For Horizon Promo, you take a photo a deep inside the dust storm. So you want me to just take, you want me to drive into the dust storm and then take a picture when we're surrounded by dust so you're not going to be able to see a thing. I mean, if you pay me the checks, I'll do it for you, but I don't think you've thought this through. There is some logic fail to this, you know? Well, the storm won't be in the same area all the time. What is this? Oh, whatever. I've just realised that my character actually speaks in this version. You don't speak in the other in the other Horizon games. I mean, you know, I, I'm not complaining because like it doesn't matter. Um, you know, the dialogue and story of these games is not exactly what you come for, right? There are like story missions to do. I say story missions, they're more like side quests. They're um They're not exactly the most dynamically active thing. Like it's not It's not what you come to see really, so. What is that? Picture of this statue. Sure. It's like some totem pole thing
Fair enough. I mean, you'd think the storms wouldn't stay in one place, certainly not for hundreds of thousands of years. But I'm not a meteorologist, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. I, I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a word for it though. <clears throat> that was not as exciting as I expected it to be. I wanted to see like the big, like dark thunderstorms. Hey, Danny. They look cool. Hello, uh, map lady. So it's cool. time for you to get out there and show us what a superstar can do. Finally. Everything you do earns you accolades. Think of them ah. as mini challenges that cover races, stunts. Exploration, everything. Accolades. If you earn enough accolades, we'll be able to expand and kick off the next chapter of the Horizon Adventure. So, what do you want to do first? That sounds pretty standard. Um, cross country. You've got desert trail. That seems different. Circuit races. Previous ones are street races. I don't know if this has street races. I'm guessing there's not that many what you would call sh streets. So I'm guessing that's where the uh, where the uh, desert trail where races come in, I guess. Such as this uh, town scramble. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's. Um, what do we want to do? Let's. Um, Let's do. Can't decide. I could go Let's go do race. circuit race. I'll do a circuit race and then I'll do something cross country or a desert trail. See, the storm is clearing up already. All all you had to do was wait, um, and you'd have you'd have been fine. I feel like there's a lot of uh, other players flying around in this session. I guess, you know, because the game is brand new, maybe a lot of people are just playing it right now. But I don't remember ever seeing this many players around me all the time in 4. You can, um, you can just go into an offline mode with this game if you don't want to deal with other people. Generally, I'm quite an antisocial kind of guy, so, you know, I'm not that interested in racing other other people, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I like people bopping around all over the place like that. That dust storm cleared up very quickly. When in doubt, just go as the crow flies. That's what my old dad used to say. Turn around when it is safe to do so. No need, no need. Someone's left a nice handy gap in the uh, in the fence for me right here. Straight into the pit lane, no drama. I'll just get myself on the track. Oh, I could even stop in there. Let's go. let's -a go. The Horizon Mexico new cars a bit off. Oh, cool. Yeah, I knew about the Cosworth. 911 GT2 RS and the Lamborghini Centenaro. What do we want to race? I'm quite fond of the Cosy, I don't know why, but it's not really a, a, a track track car. Oh, what's this? A 2018 Senna McLaren. McLaren Senna, really, but yeah. Um, let's take my uh, Chevrolet out for a spin. Look at all these reflections and refractions. Did I mention this game has, has some ray tracing effects? From what I understand. Whether they're actually enabled or not, I don't know, but... Uh, I guess they should be. It looks nice. The lighting looks better from last time. Zack is a real boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm guessing that's a driver tower and not actually Zack is a real boy. But 
There you go, folks. I can't do one video without getting raided by that guy. Move out of the way, Hectech. 20, 10, 24. Whoops a daisy. That was some rough racing, I'll be honest. There was a very weird pause when I went into that checkpoint. I wonder if that's my uh, streaming hard drive situation. I will move it to an SSD after I finish recording this video. It's not that bad though actually even though it is running off hard drive and it shouted at me for doing that. Great clean racing, 200 points. What a drift! Ultimate drift! All we need now is first place from Wrangler 2013. We're gaining on him, we're gaining on him. Oh, that was a corner. Ambitious, but it paid off. I mean, that's it, really. You just got to not be stupid now, and you should win. It's generally how motor racing works. Oh, he's catching up to me. I am burning some rubber there. That plane gets everywhere, man. Oh no, I've, I've, I've conceded first and second. I got distracted by the plane. And I've let, you know, I've snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Oh, come on. I've got to pull this back. I'm on the last lap. Oh, yeah. Eat my dust. It's all right. It'll buff out. It paused again. That is weird. Very odd. No, no. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Defensive, defensive driving strategy. Defensive driving strategy. No. Get off my racing line. Yeah. That's how you win races, boys and girls. By dirty tactics. I can't dance. Uh, right. Mind of a madman. That is, that is indeed me. One, uh, one minute, 12 best lap. Cool. Nice, I got an achievement. Race into action. Complete any race. Thank you. That was your uh, thanks for turning up. Oh yeah, wheel spins. I like wheel spins. Wheel spins are basically just uh, free things that you get like cash to spend on cars. Or cars to spend on cars. You have been disconnected. Try again. That is very odd. Maybe the servers are taking a bashing. I don't know. But that's okay. I don't really care about other players, so I am not overly fussed about that. Uh, we've got this Oasis Cross Country. Oh, we've got the um, Desert Trail thing. Let's do that one. Because it seems like it goes uh, across uh, a bit of a different uh, route across the river there.
I don't get why the sat nav is always British in these games. It was in um, it was in three as well. It made sense for four because obviously it was set in Britain. But I uh, I'm assuming that sat navs in other countries are not uh, British, at least by default. Turn right. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Please do a U-turn, we're safe. Who would pay money for a James Heaney sat-nav? With Dark Souls sound effects. Wow, I'm going backwards. Good job. This is not an off-road car. And not really the sort of thing... I well, I can change the car when I start the event. But this is not the car you would be doing this kind of thing in, really. Well, that's okay. It'll get us there. All this upbeat dance music, it makes me want to dance! I shouldn't do that. Uh... Right, we probably want the Bronco for this, I imagine. Oh my, oh no, no, let's take the Cozzy. That looks like, you know, a nice, fun rally car. You know, my uncle had an Esco Cosworth. Obviously, it wasn't decked out like this one. But, uh, yeah, fond memories. From back in the day. This feels like the right tool for the job. I think I've made a good decision here. Let's just hope I can um, catch my competitors. Whoops. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sorry, Cactus. Oh no, not again. Well, I made a bit of a mess of that, frankly. Mistakes have been made. I'm now in 10th place. Whee! Uh, 44%. We're nearly halfway through the course. This is going to be tough to pull back, honestly. That's the checkpoint that I'm not going through. So I'm going to rewind slightly there. I don't like to use the rewind, and I probably will turn it off. But um, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it on for situations where I do stupid stuff like that. Okay. Ninth place. Come on. I'm not going to get first, but I want to pull back a few places if I can. But we're 70% of the way through now. I was going to say when we cross the... Don't go backwards again. When we cross the river, I know I'm near the end. So this is not good. I've dropped back to 11th. I've clearly done a bad thing. Oh, I've got to beat Zach. At least let me beat Zach. Come on. Oh, what a disaster. What a mess. That was that was a that was a complete waste of time. It's not the winning, it's the taking part. Said nobody. What is that dance? 
Just body popping all over the place. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh my god, not the Gangnam style. The that that that's rough. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a boomer, but I mean, there was no thing. I mean, my dancing was bad earlier as well. I'll give you that. But you know, that that was awful. Right, let's do another event. Um, oh, I've got some Forza loyalty rewards. Uh, Forza Horizon 4, 2018 McLaren Senna. A Forza Horizon 3 grants me a 2016 Lamborghini Centenaro LP770-4. And owning Forza, Forza, blah, 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 owning Forza Motorsport 7 grants me a 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Nice. I enjoy it when loyalty to a series is rewarded in such a way. Um, what do we want to do? Let's do one more, one more race, I guess, and then we might call it a day. Uh, we've done Wing and a Prayer. That's uh, some kind of circuit race, circuit race. We've done a circuit race. We've done a cross country. Let's, let's have a look at this desert trail uh, gimmick. I'm curious to know what that's all about and how it differs from a uh, cross country race. I'm guessing because there's more sand involved? I don't know. I guess... Is it even desert? Am I pronouncing that word right? I don't know. We'll soon find out. But I am loving the uh, scenery in this game. It's pretty nice. I am excited. In 400 meters, turn right. But yeah, apart from that though, the, I'll be honest, if you've played any of the other Forza Horizon games, In 100 meters, you know what you're getting. Right. It's there's not that there's no real difference here, to be honest. Just the spectacular spectacular scenery of Mexico is is what the price of admission grants you. And of course, all the new races and content. It's not like it's the same game, per se. But it's not breaking new ground either. From what I can tell. It's the same structure with the same type of racing. With the same... And, you know, the thing I like about Horizon games... You get a huge range of different vehicles you can unlock. I'll see if I can show you all the different cars you can... Uh, eventually buy if you work your way through the game on the monster grind but there are lots and lots of cars um here we go buy a car these are all the cars you can get in this game and they add more as well so we've got i won't name them all but other than my craft amg transport dynamics Got a couple of Audis, Bentley, BMW, Can-Am, Chevrolet. I think there's more. I think this is just showing me the off-road ones as well. So if you if you filter it out to um, uh, every car class, like there's loads. But these are the manufacturers. Dodge, Ford, Hennessy, Hoonigan, Jaguar, Jeep, Lamborghini, Land Rover, Local Motors, Maserati, Mercedes-Benz. Mini, Mitsubishi, Nissan, or Nissan, depending on, you know, how you uh, butter your bread. Uh, Peniel, Peugeot, Polaris, Porsche, and Subaru. Ooh, can I buy an Impreza? Yes. Thank you very much. Have I got enough money to buy one? Please say I have enough money to buy one. Oh, in the classic rally colours. Please. Please. I have enough money for this. Yes. Yes. My first love indeed. An absolute standard. How exciting. Yeah, is it desert? Deserto? I shouldn't do the accent. Deserto? I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Well, 
Listen to that engine noise. It's so good. Ooh, that's a corner. Hello, wall. Nice to meet you. I don't think I've got damage turned on, really, but you can ramp up the difficulty on this. You know, by default, it's very arcadey, but you can ramp up damage. You can um, turn a lot of the assists off. You can, you can, um, you can tune the physics up to be more realistic as well. So you can, you can. The thing I like about Horizon games is you can tailor them to your playstyle. Um, if you like it to be more simulatory, you can. It's not a simulator, but you can definitely go down that route and make it close. If you like it casual and arcadey, then just uh, let it roll. Like it's um, it, there's something for everyone in the Horizon games, and I think that's that's what appeals about them really. Um, yeah, I like it. It's it's more of the same, but I like it. Hello, Wall. It's me again. Mr. I'm going to turn up the driving line and then just crash into everything as I go around corners. Oh, there we go. I play fast and, fast and loose with water checkpoint boundary is I uh, I like to go over the uh, checkpoint marker itself if you're doing it any other way you're not doing it right oh that was ambitious I'm gonna rewind sod it I was so obsessed with proving my point that I just uh, I uh, oversteered a little bit there Yeah, I'm not really sure what the difference is, to be honest, between Desert Race and uh, the Cross Country one. I mean, yeah, like I say, Desert maybe. That's the deciding factor. Who knows? Anyway, that's a Desert Trail completed. I, uh, I'm quite pleased with my new Subaru. Yeah, that's Forza Horizon 5. Uh, I can recommend it. It's good. It's good stuff. If you like the other ones, you'll like this one. Um, Mexico seems like it's going to be awesome. I'm quite excited to play through this one. So I'm going to I'm going to carry on with it. And uh, there's your obligatory. And I'll be honest, I've, I've had that in every Horizon game. It's very common on the old uh, Wheel of Fortune. Well, there's your Dodge Charger RT. Which you inevitably paint up like the Dukes of Hazard. Um, yeah, that's Forza Horizon 4. This, this music is getting deafening. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next video, I guess. Bye-bye.